Kind of fairly, very inspired. go shopping just now. We got um, got some things we wanted, including some paints for me and some makeup supplies and things like that. <clears throat> We're just talking about how when what we spend our money on is basically, yeah, we're going to make a video about it. Uh, housing, food mostly and art supplies that's pretty much it and transportation flights and stuff
makeup and costume and all that these days is that I just do it because I want to. I get inspired and I want to do it and I do it. Very windy day today. How are you affected by wind? And why? Know, I, I, feel, I feel the wind carries um, carries a lot of energy and it carries a lot of stuff. Yeah. And I feel it all. Yeah. Did you uh, you know the Piediratra this comes with a list of things we shouldn't do? <laughs> yeah. We shouldn't do and should, yeah, yeah, should do, shouldn't do, but pretty cute. He's good, yeah. yeah we're we're um Doctors and uh, I had my father was a doctor and he was yeah. a great doctor. He was a uh, smart, he did things in the south in the United States to help. Oh, it's okay, I work. <laughs> well, Ed, sorry to bring you into your own store. <laughs> so sorry. It's nice out there. Licking my toes. Yeah. You like me? Sniffy. Really good. This is awesome. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I make references for my drawings, especially for different hand positions. <clears throat> that's why that's why people talk about astrology. Quite a story. See. You seem to fit in nicely. Yes, nice. Oh my goodness. Kiss me, please. Kiss me now. Please, thank you. I took a lot more drawings in the restaurant for my art because I loved my look today. Thoth and I were feeling very inspired and happy and creative. What did, what did the birdies say? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. What are you doing? <laughs> there he goes! Very good. I felt very proud of these two paintings that I have done over the last couple of days. I'm trying to be more abstract and free. Are you, I think I have a crazy husband. I think maybe he's just really stupid and insane. Francis, are you stupid? Are you just stupid? <laughs> credit card at the restaurant last night. Walk all the way there. I love you, sweetie. We'll be all right. Here's the process of me doing my hair. I'd bleached it a few days prior and I actually really liked the white pastel thing that it turned into, but I'm, I was wanting to dye it and I was being experimental with my hair as well. I wanted to do multiple colors on each strand. 
Um, the process of drawing and painting and doing my hair and doing my makeup, it's all the same thing. It's I'm using my hair as a canvas for creativity. And I'm using my face as a canvas for creativity. And then I'm using pieces of paper as a canvas for my creativity. It's all the same. And I'm really... I am really inspired by using colors. I love using pastel bright colors because within everyday life, you really don't see these kind of colors, especially amongst the regular everyday population. People tend not to wear bright colors and be very colorful. Nature is colorful. The sunsets and sunrises are colorful but regular everyday people are not. So I, I like the idea of bringing color into the world. I used to be very much interested in painting and drawing with pastel pinks. I was very obsessed with all of my pieces and my hair and my costumes and everything being this very one clear shade of pastel pink. And now I use all different colors. And I challenge myself every time I do my hair to try something different. Because my tendency is to be pink, everything to be bright pink. So to use green and orange and yellow and red and darker blues and purples and all that, it's just something I don't usually do. And this one I was trying to do each strand that I added color to, I'd put two different colors in the uh, in the strand, which was looking pretty fucking cool. And the last time I did this, I took a took a video of how how all the dyes looked together, and I was really interested in how it looked when it was being dyed as opposed to when um, it was finished. Because it, it looks very different when it's finished as opposed to when it is um, all the colors in my hair. So this process of dyeing my hair is something that's taken me 34 years to really figure out how to do. I never... Um, I never, I've, I've taught myself how to dye my hair, just like I've taught myself how to draw, I've taught myself how to paint, I've taught myself how to make costumes, nobody taught me, I never was interested in being taught how to do this, I didn't go to school for it, I um, didn't pay anybody to teach me, and the other day when we were in, uh, where were we, we were in Playa del Carmen, and this fellow complimented me very specifically on my hair and how all the colors are very separated and he spoke about how his friends who go to um, hair school where they learn how to dye their hair they all struggle with this of, of separating the colors and making them all very differentiated and I just naturally know how to do this it was the same with bleaching my hair. Like It took me a decade to actually figure out how to bleach my roots and not just bleach my whole head and destroy my hair. Because I bleach my hair every month and I'm trying to keep it healthy at the same time. So the whole process of of dyeing hair... And, and I'm, I'm wanting to grow my hair out. I'm, as you can see, it's, it's kind of shoulder length, kind of. Um, because I like the idea of having all of these colors trailing down my back. I think that would look really, really, really pretty. And it's interesting just to watch the process of the colors coming together. And as I'm choosing colors, it's the same thing as when I paint. When I paint, I, I don't know what colors I want to use for each section. I just am inspired in the moment. And I can't really explain to you what happens for me. It's more that I look at the hair or I look at the painting or I look at the drawing and I, I see what it is that's needed. It's the same when I'm painting my face. I, I just can recognize what is needed in each uh, piece that I'm doing. And I don't actually know which colors I'm going to use and what I'm going to do. 
there's an idea with this hair color style that I want one side to be very bright neon and I want the other side to be um, pastel and um, so I'm trying you know see one side is more of a pastel pinkish bluish purplish style and the others is more neon and for me with all creative practices that I do it's slow and steady wins the race you know this process takes me a little little over an hour and if I want it to stay fresh and bright I have to do it about once a week sometimes I get lazy so to speak and I just let it fade and if I want to keep the colors bright then I have to do it consistently and I've found a technique that works in which I work around the head and I do all the colors in the front on the sides in the back and then I let head head down and I I um color the the mid sections and the top section kind of like when I bleach it um but this this thing has really taken me a lifetime to figure out how to do because no one taught me I love the back and I another thing I'm learning with dyeing my hair is that I use the brightest colors up top in the front on the top of my head and then when I get to the back then I can get into some really dark luminescent very dark colors because it just seems to look the best when the colors on top are really bright and the colors on the bottom are darker because then when I pull my hair up that's the thing I love about dyeing my hair is that uh, depending on how I style my hair if I put it up in a a ponytail or if I um you know no matter what I do different colors show up every time and I'm really I'm really being very very experimental with this one I'm not holding back with any of I have no idea again I don't necessarily know what I'm doing I'm just going with the feeling of it and it's quite a it's quite an experience it's very enjoyable it's just like drawing for me it's a process and I enjoy the process a lot and it's um it can be very 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 tedious as well I allow myself to just go with it and let it be whatever it is going to be and I'm not judgmental of how it turns out it's the process itself that's really satisfying for me mixing colors putting different colors together and seeing how it turns out and what it looks like because again, it, it doesn't look the same when it's wet as opposed to when it's dry. So that's another whole experience of that. I, I really don't know how the colors are going to blend together. It's all just an experiment. And in the end, I don't really care how it looks. It's more that the experience, this experience of very methodically going through each strand of hair and adding color is very satisfying and fun for me and stimulating. So... It's also exciting and fun to see how it then turns out. Because even when it takes the time to dry in the end, I am waiting to see what the colors look like. Also, when when my hair is initially very clean, it, it can be very fluffy and the colors seem a bit brighter than they actually are. And as I let it, let the colors sit, like I, I'll, I'll let my hair, um, I won't wash my hair for about a week I tend to wash my hair about once a week in order to keep the colors fresh. And so um, I, uh, as, as, as my hair gets a little bit more dirty, the colors become brighter, which is interesting. And the roots start to grow out, which is extremely annoying. So it can be that my hair is brightest when my roots start to grow out. Um, anyway, it's, I'm right at the end here. I'm almost finished and I'm starting to lose my mind because it's been an hour, maybe an hour and 20 minutes of doing this. Uh, but it, but it is very fun. It's fun, it's difficult, and it's fun. I would never have anybody else do this for me. I enjoy doing it myself. I like, if anybody does notice me, my makeup, my hair, my, my costumes, anything, I like the idea of being able to say, I did this myself. Uh, people tend not to notice, but who cares? So almost as soon as I did my hair, once my hair was dry, then I did my makeup. I mean, I was being creative all day long. It was so fun. I painted 
all day I was working on this crazy abstract multiple eyeballs piece. I'm trying to be more of an expressionist abstract painter instead of a uh, anal retentive um, obsessive perfectionist kind of painter I, I want I want my pieces to be more free and so my art that I make when I dye my hair whatever I do I it all inspires each other all these different aspects of being creative inspire each other so if my hair is brightly dyed then I paint my face very brightly and it's uh, really fun so I'm starting off with these I think they're more like oil-based paints which I really love because they're very vibrant. I love adding, this time I didn't use any white, which made the, the colors m pop out a lot more. And I've been doing this for about 15 years, doing painting my face in this way. This is kind of like a base for me because it highlights my eyes and my cheeks. It's just basic, um, and, but it's with a lot of colors. And then I have these wonderful neon paints that I got at, at a store nearby. I haven't had neon face paints in a long time. And when I paint with acrylic paints, I tend to get extremely inspired to paint my face. And I used to actually use acrylic paints on my face, which isn't, isn't safe. And I would, I would highly recommend not to use acrylic paints. You should be using um, face paint. So these are some lovely neon paints that I love. I absolutely love. I used to have paints like this, but I ran out a long time ago and didn't get any new ones. And then I have some lovely sprinkly sparkle things that I added, which I just am completely obsessed with. I got all these things at the store for very cheap the other day. And there's something I love about our lifestyle now is I, when I feel inspired, I can just get a bunch of new paints. I can get sparkly things. I can get face pain, I can get all sorts of shit, and it's just, it has to fit in our suitcases, it has to fit in my suitcase, and that's not too big of an issue, but yeah, I'm so inspired, and we're going out, I have no idea what's going to happen, I can't have any expectations, but I'm just so inspired and so happy to just be creative for myself, to just do this for myself. You look lovely. Should we build it for a moment? <laughs> Creative all day long. That we're able to evolve after 15 years together. You do? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's funny. Uh -huh. okay. no. Surprise the makeup lady. You look so strikingly gorgeous. Look at your sparkle, baby. Oh, 